All right, guys, going to do something a little bit different today. Um, I'm playing with my Oculus headset, and we're going to have a look at uh, La Mata in VR. <laughs> um, but also, let's just get into it, and we can talk about it once I'm in there. Uh, so, okay, it says it doesn't meet the criteria because it's a Mac. Uh, da -da, clear all, not really interested. Where's the software going? Uh, it's lost the software, that's why it's not working. Okay, I did actually come in here for this bit, but anyway. On the store, in the store, guys. Where is with my apps? I'm getting to the matter bit in a second. Uh, My apps library. That's it. Let's go to Google Earth. The Google Earth on here is pretty good. Um, let's move that across a bit. That's better. Um, what you have in here, I mean, as you can probably see, I've got some virtual controllers and hands and stuff in here. Um, but what we're going to actually do is have a look at the matter. Um, but it's also useful if you're actually looking for. If you're going to a city, for example, it doesn't even need to be Spain, it could be anywhere. Um, you could have a sort of browse round of what's actually in there. So I actually want to come out of this. I want to zoom out of the planet. So I want to tilt. Tilt like that. That's it. And come out of the Earth. And move away from the US. Let's go and find Spain. Oh, drag, there we go. So there's the US, we should be over here somewhere. Did I create the perfect time for cloud cover? <laughs> this looks very Spanish. <laughs> and let's go and find the map. So there's Benidorm, Alicante, Santa Pola, Guatemala, Colivieca, and we should be down here somewhere. Let's zoom right in here. And we can rotate it around. It's a bit funny around the rotate, I'm not sure why. But we can have a wander around in the matter. So we can zoom right in. Yeah, we can go into street view as well. Point and click on the orb to enter. Okay. Can we go there? Because Okay, well, it, this is the Pacayo Park, as we call it. I'm not going to bother with the street view too much because you guys can do that already. Um, I'm more concerned about you being able to search around and find locations. Although, obviously, it's very keen to keep <laughs> it keeps buzzing me to have a look around. Um, Properties, ah, oh, that might be worth it. Let's see how old some of these are, because there should be some new builds here. Some of these have been knocked down. Quiet, stop talking to me. <laughs> Alright, let's leave that alone. Yeah, there's been new construction along here. Some of these have been replaced. There's some new buildings around here. So if you are looking for some new properties, there are some in this area. Um, I think some of them are 700,000 euros. These apartments, there's three and four bedrooms in there, um, which are around quarter of a million euros. Uh, 
these these constructions are mainly German built. Um, they're fairly fairly decent quality. Um, normally one to two beds. Um, you often find them put a two bed, and it's actually a one bed. Um, it's just that they built onto the balcony and what have you. Um, so just bear that in mind. Cause the paperwork's likely wrong on them. And let's head on down to the matter. So that's the park. That's where all the kids play football. Obviously, the, I like these apartments. These are quite nice internally. Um, these have been built over probably the last last six years because they weren't all built at once. This is where all the restaurants are. All the way around here, there's an kebab. Ocean front. I always get my the restaurants mixed up on there. It's ocean front along here. Um, so there's a couple of Indian restaurants here. This is where we were today. This is being developed. There's another building here now. Um, that's only just been complete in the last two years. This is also gone. This one's actually nearly complete on the second and third stages. It's got the concrete in, the floors are in. There's no windows or anything yet, but it's probably about three or four stories high now. That's that's nearly finished. I think that canopy's gone now. Yeah, I'm sure that canopy's the one that collapsed. So that's not there anymore. The church. Anybody who meets me in Lamata will always know that I always say meet us by the church because there's lots of little restaurants around there, so cups of tea and stuff. Uh, what have we got here? I'm sure. Is that? Yeah, I think that is still there. It's a little corner shop there with lots of bits and pieces. There's the butcher down here. Obviously, this is the tower. Tori La Mata, Tori being the tower. This is Lucius's block, he lives in there. This is where we normally hang out. This is food line here. And there's a nice little bar here as well, it's been there forever. This is the new um, Italian restaurant. And a few people have said they've never seen this restaurant before. There it is, because it disappears every year, but it hasn't been back this year. And we, we're over here. Let me go up here a bit. So this is this is where we are. This area here. And Pieter is over in this block. Igor's in this block. Denise is in this block. We're in this block. Um, oh, there's another that you like this. What do I do with this guy? Different times of the day. How cool is that? That's the that's the time of day I love. Look how beautiful it is. So yeah, I mean, La Mata is not a massive place. And obviously you've got the sand dunes here. These are all protected. They won't be constructed on. There was. That building's finished now. Obviously they've got a swimming pool. That's our thing. When you're looking for properties, I know some of you guys are asking where the pools are. Just get it on Google Earth or Google Maps and just look down. You'll be able to find which blocks have got the pools. Um, but let's go over to the nature park, shall we? So this is this is the centre for the um, the park. They do a bit of a presentation piece in there, so if it is open, I do recommend popping in. They're really helpful, nice people. If you're worried about crossing the road, by the way, the underpass is here. You can literally come down here under the roundabout and through. Same this side, you can come through. So you don't have to worry about crossing the road with the traffic. And this is this is our lovely lake and park which this is an ideal <laughs> ideal opportunity for me to tell you where everything is obviously you've got all the vineyards here certain times of the year worth popping over uh, when they're harvesting whatever oh wine I forgot to mention wine didn't I 
There's a couple of places to get wine in La Mata. There's a town hall. Town hall should be down here somewhere, hidden away. Where are you? Just off the plaza. It's literally there. That's the town hall. They've got an information desk in there. So if you do need what's on, guides type stuff, that's all in there. Just pop in when it's open. There you can get wine next door. Uh, I think they do some fruit as well. And along here, you got the tobacco place. Uh, along here is the fruit shop. I think it's the fruit shop's just on here. Yeah, it is. The fruit shop's there. There's a little cafe there. Dante's there. Dante, D O M T I. It's a little corner shop. But just on the corner there is also the wine. So if you do need wine, <laughs> this is the place. Okay, let's go back over here. So this is obviously the information center. Now, you, you'll know my bike rides. This is the area I cycle around on. But I'll show you some of the nice locations around here. So go down here. This is the cemetery. I'm not saying that's the main place for you for a day out, but over here, you normally just park around this area. And if you go over here, you can't really see it too much. Don't think we'll better get a street view, but there's picnic tables and stuff hidden amongst this forest. There's also a bit of a there's a tower. The rotate's not working, but there's a tower as well, so you can overlook overview the, the lake. You can carry on the walk all the way along. All the way up here. And yes, I have done it, I've cycled it as well. There's some locations along the way. There's one there, I think. There you go. There's, there's a couple of little places around where you can sort of have rest spots. Um, as we come around the top here, there's one of the towers. You go up there and have a bit of a view. I normally find this gate's locked, so unless you can park it just outside the gate, um, it's a bit of an awkward one to park at. Not sure what this is. Maybe somebody can tell me. The lake's fed from these canalways. Obviously, you've got the one down where we are in La Mata, but this is another one that feeds into it. Now we go around the other side. The path does disappear on this side a little bit. So I want to go to the top end of the lake. So you can see it's not a small lake. There's a couple of locations. I don't know about to see them. Should be able to. For the bird watchers out there. Where are you? Should be a path all the way down there. Ah, here we go. I've got, I've got my bearings now. When you see me doing the video with the fish on the bridge, that's the bridge there. And this is where the fish are. This is quite a nice little quiet spot. If you like the um, rabbits, Canejo, they're normally around this area. And there's another nice little spot here that we normally hang out at. It's a bit of a table, picnic table area here. Though it looks more like a anvil on here. But it's actually a nice little place to sit and have a cup of tea or something, bring your flask. If we shoot along here, let's go and find this other spot. It's not that one. A bit further down. Where are you? Let's go around here. I think that's it there. Tell you what, it looks bigger up here than when I actually cycle it. Just realise how far I cycle. 
It's not near straight. Uh, ah, that might be it. So there's another one there. That's another hide um, that oversees the lake. So a few of them dotted around. The other ones next to you. We'll actually go over there. Let's go back, back, back. Where are we now? So we're on this side. Let me get my bearings. So that's coming into the forest bit. So we actually want to go around this bit here. Where are you? There's one that just cuts through the trees. There he is up there. So that's the one you probably see in some of my videos where I've got the fence here. That's so the birds and that can't see you when you're coming down there to do a bit of bird watching. But I think that's enough for Lamata for today. I just wanted to show you and play with my new VR toys. But I mean, I know some people say, oh, the matter, it's, it's a bit of a concrete jungle, blah, blah. There's a lot around the matter. It, and the other thing is, it's a base. Because when you come here, it's not a massive place. I mean, if you go over the hill, don't get me wrong, I will agree with you. Once you start heading into Toribeca, it does start getting a bit bigger. Well, as you can see, nearly everything's on the one side of the the bridge, uh, the road up until here. But the matter, uh, Tony Reca is famous for being the city of sports. This is mainly why. I call it sports complex. <laughs> There's loads of sports facilities in Tony Reca. This is where they have the market in Tony Reca. This is the water park. And over here will be Habaneras. That's where we go shopping a lot. And car four over there. So a fire station there, police your local. Is that police your local? I think it is, yeah. There. Um and this this is Audi. And I think that's that's now the new Mercadona. But there's always something going on, new developments here all the time. Still love living here. Been here a while now. But it's home for us. The other beauty of this, as you can see, and I could show you around the place, but if I come back out of here, well, don't get seasick, guys. Let's go down to Cartagena. Let's go out a little bit. Cartagena. So you think they're visiting Cartagena, never been there before. So you can zoom in a bit, get a bit of a tilt on it. I'll give you some of the locations while I'm here actually. So we want to find the port because that gives me my bearings. There we go. So this is the port. It's got the old city defence walls here. See all the way around? I think this was originally 18th century, um, this development. And these seem to be the old barracks. I had to guess. Somebody else can confirm it. They, I think they use them for the naval training, but there's also a plane outside, so it may also be relating to the Air Force. I'll let somebody else fill that in for you. But parking in this area, it, I recommend you park down here or anywhere along here. Is pay, pay and display. Um, be, a, be aware that last time we were there, there was some... Um, Gypsy guys, shall we call them? Uh, trying to get money out of people. Um, I just completely blanked and just drove off and ignored them. Um, but the, yeah, 
just be aware there is people trying to charge you for for something that isn't chargeable um, so let, let's go on here. This lift here takes you up to the fortifications here. This is the old thing, it's Benzentine. Um, do recommend on there. If you have got uh, issues with dis disability, it is difficult. Um, although you can get to a, some of it with a wheelchair, but some of it is quite a bit of a difficult uh, place to visit. But I do recommend it because the views are really great. This is the old bull ring which I believe they're current, oh, you can't see it, all this has been dug up at the moment oh, I might be able to see it from the side there um, because it used to be the Coliseum for the old uh, gladiators so they're working on that at the minute but I do recommend having a visit in here, it's really really nice that's the old theatre, you can from the top there you can look down on the amphitheatre there's the amphitheatre there And there's some, when you when you're on here, you realise there's a lot of other stuff to see. Let's move forward a bit because there's other developments here, excavations or stuff going on. Obviously, there's a chapel here. I haven't actually been to that one yet. There's obviously a development here. You know, historic historic stuff going on. Um, but they do seem to be trying to renovate some of this stuff. And that's the bus station if you if you come in by bus. Between there and there it's probably about a twenty minute walk. Um but I do recommend going to Cartagena for for a day out. But like I say, Google Earth is fantastic for looking at if you're into architectural stuff, um this is good to actually try and investigate some of this. Let's try and see if we can point and click on the orb to enter the street view. Click on the orb. Where is it though? This here, if I turn it, I'm a bit wary it's going to take me to the wrong location. Let me move forward a bit. Ah, there we go. So we can view it in here. As you can see, it still looks like there's a fair bit of work going on. There's a lot of art as well around Cartagena. You'll find you'll find it to wander around. There's a lot of um, artistic graffiti. Let's go and have a look at here. Like I said, I haven't been here myself, so it'll let us go down here. Let's go and have a look. Where is it? Can I turn around? Navigate. Ah. Well, I can't see it. That must be it there. Is it a theatre? I'll have to visit there next time I'm there. Give it. But this is fantastic. Loving it. Okay, it'll come out of here. Might be able to see a bit over here as well. Can we go up on here? I don't know where that is. See what's here. Okay, you can see there's a bit of a fortification still there. Not what else to say. The main one's this one over here, which we should be able to go down to the monument here shortly. Okay, middle of the road is not probably the best place to look. Can we go any further? So obviously these videos are reliant. Wouldn't it be funny if that was actually looking at the bald head? Wouldn't it be funny if it was actually my own photograph or something? <laughs> um, but yeah, you go inside this. This is really cool. I do recommend going up for a visit. Uh, I don't know about going the ball ring because that's. That's been locked off since as far as I can remember, for as long as I can remember. Although, we might be able to see the fighter jet on the front. Fighter jet's down here somewhere. There he is. Let's 
Sabe? É o que? That's on the cold side. That's further down. That's what you want to see. You want to see the fighter? There he is. If you do want me to do any more of these videos, just let us know in the comments. Because obviously, just a bit of a new experience. Just thought I'd share it today as something a little bit new and different. Um, but I know some of you guys aren't techie, which is why me messing around with stuff might be easier. Because I can play around with it and you know say, Matt, can you do this town for us or whatever. I don't mind doing it, because I do like messing around with this stuff anyway. But anyway, I'll leave it at that, guys. And that, to, to be fair, before anybody complains, oh, you know, um, you didn't see that organized. This is the first time I've used the software. So it's the first time I've used software, first time I've used the headset in this format, it's the first time I've connected to, to a video. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Take care and speak soon.